What does theology do for us? What does philosophy do for us? Sometimes we see in the contemporary culture that those are appear to some people to be at war with one another or irrelevant to each other. We end up being driven by very kind, opaque kind of desires that we don't understand ourselves. We are ultimately not free. Immanuel Kant would call this heteronomy. We are driven by opaque kind of inclinations that don't have any kind of internal rationality to them. Science can go this direction and faith goes that direction and the two have nothing to do with each other. Or uh, religion and science are at war. You often hear that kind of an imagery when subject like uh, evolution comes up. Uh, creationism and so on. You have faith alone and it becomes a kind of divine dictate that um, can sometimes be unintelligible. Reason alone can be very closed down, it can be very closed off, it can be very rationalistic. We can actually ask the questions that philosophy has asked through the ages. For example, the question of God, the existence of God. This is a genuine philosophical question. I have talked to students that have studied in other secular contexts and were frustrated that they were not allowed to ask these questions. The integration between philosophy and theology, which is something that um, I cannot do in other places. As philosophy developed, as you look at the history of philosophy, there was a distrust of, of our not being able to answer all the questions when it comes to the nature of God or the nature of the divine. And so we bracket that off. That is not an important aspect. That may help the philosopher in their devotion, but it doesn't help the philosopher in understanding the meaning of reality. I see that you cannot understand the meaning of reality without us recognizing or at least dealing with the mysteries of which even science or any philosophical system does not have all the answers for. Philosophical questions necessarily eventually give rise to the question of God and the meaning of life and human sinfulness and human salvation. Philosophy is an entree into questions of God and theology. There is no theology without philosophy. You cannot be a theologian without being in some way a philosopher as well. Theology depends on philosophy. I think studying the two together allows one to have a fundamental confidence in the relationship between faith and reason and then one can more effectively address the issues that one finds in contemporary culture. I see DSPT as that Raphael painting, the School of Athens. You know, if you take that wonderful painting and you analyze it, or at least study it, you recognize that there in that painting, um, over the banner, you have these women figures who are holding these uh, models. And each of the models are representing philosophy, the arts, theology, and law. But their law is really the practical dimensions of the philosophy and the theology. And I think that DSPT offers us the opportunity for that kind of interdisciplinary conversation. Ordinarily, a Master of Philosophy would take a two-year program. Master of Theology, again, would be a two-year program. But we allow the student to integrate both of those programs, and they learn the methodology of each discipline, of philosophy and of theology, but can, in an integral way, achieve the master's level of certification both with a master's degree in philosophy and a master's degree in theology in a three-year program.